brothers and sisters, in this meeting, we try to understand the word of Allah. We try to understand the message of the heaven. We try to understand the most important book in everyone's life. This is the book of happiness. This is the book of succeed in this dunya and in akhirah. And the real succession in this dunya is to have a good, is to have a good akhirah. One of the most important thing in this book that Allah Azza wa Jal help us, help us, help us to believe in him, help us to know him, help us to understand his creation, help us uh, to believe in the unity of the God that what Allah did, no one else can did. Everything in the ayat, everything is very clear in the creation of Allah. We reach last uh, week the ayah that Allah said, وَإِنَّ لَكُمْ فِي الْأَنْعَامِ لَعِبْرَةً That you have a lesson in the cattle. We uh, gave you uh, between feces and blood a good drink, a good milk. Ayah number? Okay. It's ayah number uh, 66. Surah 16, and nahal Surah 16, ayah number 66. So uh, there is wisdom in this ayah. There is that Allah Azza wa Jal, وَإِنَّ لَكُمْ فِي الْأَنْعَامِ لَعِبْرَةً There is a lesson. There is a wisdom in this. What is uh, the wisdom? What is the lesson in this? The wisdom that how Allah give us from two dirty things, the feces and the blood, give us very pure, very nice milk, very good drink, help us to live and help us to survive. This is, okay, this is a great lesson. This is a great uh, thing to understand. But what else? What else? This is also very great and very important thing we can understand that uh, no matter how life is tough for you no matter the environment around you is bad or difficult no matter is your circumstances family whatever is bad you can bring from all these bad circumstances very nice and very good things how you get the milk from blood and from the feces and you bring something amazing and something very helpful and also for the human because some people feel desperate. Some people feel, oh, you know, my family is not good. My work is not good. Everything around me is not good. So I should, I said, okay, this is Allah said, there is a lesson to you. There is a lesson to everyone feel difficulties in this life. Everyone feel that the, the environment is bad, that from all these bad, something very good will extract, something very good and very important will come, come out. And then Allah Azza wa Jal told us, وَمِن ثَمَرَاتِ النَّخِيلِ وَالْأَعْنَابِ And from the fruit of the palm trees, which the date, and the grapes, تَتَّخِذُونَ مِنْهُ سَكَرًا وَرِزْقًا حَسَنًا Sakaran, that means wine. Wine and good rizq and good money. And in this ayah is very nice hint to the people in Jahiliya, to the people at the beginning age of Islam. When I said uh, there's two people and I said uh, Ahmad is good, but I didn't mention anything about Khalid or what does that mean? Ahmed is good, but Khalid is, you know? So when Allah said that, Sakaran wa rizqan hasana, you take wine and good rizq, that means the wine is not a good rizq. And this is the first, you know, the first thing they give it and they understand. But okay, they keep drinking, but now they feel that it is 
you know, the people who manufacture it, the people who do it, the people who, it is not a good result. It is, so what is the good result? The good result is the fruit, is the juice, is, you know, many things is the, the vinegar, all of these you can do it from the date and from the grape. But the wine is not good rizq. This is the first. And this is, give us a great lesson. Some scholars said that this ayah is mansukh. Mansukh that replaced with other ayat. The ayat which make the wine is prohibited. That's right. It's, it's as hikm. But why Allah mentioned it to us in the Quran? Allah mentioned it to us in the Quran to graduate. To go in baby steps, especially with the new people. If Allah with the people in uh, in Jahiliya, in Quraysh, all of them Arab, all of them in the same society, going with them step by step. How the people now in the United States or in France or in, in you know, all these foreigner countries, how how we, we should go with them? Everyone, everyone is far away from Islam, far away from Iman. Far, we should go with him in very, very uh, slowly step until he accept. First of all, oh, what about the wine? What is important to believe in the one God? Okay, what? Now, now it's, it's not, because if you said wine is, okay, he, he will, no, no, it's, and this is the, the, I shouldn't ask you from the beginning everything. You, you have time to, 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 but what is very important is to believe in the unity of Allah, is to believe in the existence of Allah, because if you have, if you don't have this faith, that means you will stay in the hell forever. Now, when you believe in the God, in the God that Allah exists, and la ilaha illallah, only, yes, la ilaha illallah, is your passport not to stay forever in the in Jahannam. So how much you uh, help someone if you let if you help him to believe in La ilaha illallah? What about Muhammad Rasul? This is something, this is the continuum. But first of all, Rasulullah ask Allah that, oh Allah, anyone say La ilaha illallah, take him out from the fire. Take him out from the fire. So this is very important. So this is steps and this ayat give us in this is a uh, ayat also signs. There is sign to whom? To the people use their mind to understand. Use their mind to understand. What is the difference between animals and human? Both of them listen, both of them hear the voice. But if you have a cat now and we are talking, she will move and go around and play in his tail. And uh, it's okay, but she don't care. Yani, uh, Sheikh, that is, uh, it's okay. She, she is happy, but you know, what is, but she will not understand any, any of these. But a human understand. This understanding is yaqilun. This understanding is Use their reason. Use their reason. Inna fi thalika laayatil liqawmi yaqilun. And in reality, in the Quran, there are a lot of ayat about how should we use our reason to understand, to understand how we should use our vision, how to use our hearing. What is behind the vision? Understanding. What is behind the hearing, uh, understanding, and and you know the the if if we understand from our vision that this is food, okay, we will eat. This is the same animal. Also, they look that this is food, and we he 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 want to eat. But you know what is more that when we look to the sign of Allah, when we this is give us an idea that Allah is. Allah is, exist. وَمِنْ ثَمَرَاتِ النَّخِيلِ And really, Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned this great tree. And this, uh, the fruit of this tree is amazing. It's amazing. It's a supermarket of food. 
all types of food in this date. All uh, minerals, all sugar, all uh, vitamins, all, you know, it's, it's a combination. It's, it's a pharmacy. I mean, this date is very important to everyone. And also, uh, this date is uh, help the uh, ladies when they are uh, pregnant and in the point of the breath also help them. For this reason, Allah Azza wa Jal told the Virgin Mary when she is at the point of the purse, وَهُزِّي إِلَيْكِ بِجِذْعِ النَّخْلَةِ and push the tree, the palm tree, to sock it عَلَيْكِ رُطَبًا جَنِيًا and it will give you a nice and a good uh, date. And this is uh, helpful for the bleeding, this helpful for many things. If we go to study the, 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 the date, we will uh, find in the date a lot of miracles. For this reason, Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned it in the Quran and Allah Azza wa Jal insists about, about it. And he said, وَمِنْ ثَمَرَاتِ النَّخِيلِ Nowadays, at the age of the Prophet, they don't have labs. They don't know what it... Uh, yeah, maybe they feel it's, it tastes uh, sweet, but uh, what the other... What the, but now, you know, they can analyze what material it has, what uh, uh, substances it has, what uh, vitamin. All of these nowadays is clear to uh, every one. And... As I said, eating for this to pregnant is something is very important and something is very good. وَهُزِّي إِلَيْكِ بِجِذْعِ النَّخْلَةِ تُصَاقِتْ عَلَيْكِ رُطَبًا جَنِيًا And uh, after that, after that, Allah told us about something amazing, about very great ayah, about uh, very important thing about the creation around us, which is the bees. Bees has endless of miracles in everything, in everything, in their system. And uh, there are something in the bees till now is uh, they can do it, a human couldn't do it. Couldn't do it in the same way. Couldn't do it in the, and some of these human need long time until they have these systems. One of these that وأوحى ربك إلى النحل أن اتخذي من الجبال بيوتا Allah revealed to the bees that take from the mountain houses, homes, build the, the, the bees build houses when the human live in the caves when the human don't have tent at that time and the bees have this, uh, these houses with very great systems. How? If you know, you know, it's a lot of a question when we look to the bees, how it build the system, how it choose the hexagon and why the hexagon? It, it is, you know, it is something we call producing engineering. In a producing engineering, we try to get the most benefit and the less cost. And if anyone can make any invention to something like this, they will give him a lot of money. So uh, when, when the bees uh, cho uh, choose this uh, hexagon, uh, it will give uh, the highest capacity of honey and the less amount of wax. And it's amazing. Any, any, other, any other shape, if it is a square, if it is a... Uh, uh, Anything, it will not circle. No, it is not. This, uh, some people don't know hexagon until the third grade or fourth grade. Or, and they don't. And, and you know what? And also, this, this uh, hexagon will be making 30 degree. 30 degree because the uh, honey will not pure from the, this. And it makes plenty of things in this house. If, uh, you know, in the field, there are thousands of honeycomb, but you cannot, you're not allowed to enter any other except your house, except your house. And they have keys, 
They have a keys? No, this is old fashion. They have a code. They keep a code. Before they enter the Hinnikom, they keep a code to the, the guard allow. Otherwise, they will not allow. And if they insist, they will kill him or kill. And if it is big insect coming and refuse to get out, first of all, they try to, if they kill it. And if it is big, they cannot, they cannot, uh, you know, take it out. They uh, uh, manufacture very uh, important material. Uh, plop. Uh, Plopilis, plopilis, I think. Plopilis, yeah. The plopilis in Arabic, al-akbar. This plopilis, it is liquid green to brown. And this is amazing. This is for 14 disease. This propolis, 14 disease. Today, the, the, the medicine proof about this propolis. And this, you know, this uh, killed all the bacteria in the honeycomb. They, they uh, bented the the honeycomb with the propolis, and there is no bacteria, it is very clean, it is, and you know what, the workers, if it is summer, they make fans and they, by their wings, to make the, the environment is nice. And in winter, they isolated any gap, anything, to make it uh, warm enough. It's amazing. rabbuka. It is teaching from Allah. Allah teach bees how to build. Allah, and you know what? What is something very amazing that the bees start with this, uh, with this uh, hexagon in different direction and in different way. Yani some of them start from this, some of bees from this side, from this of this side. That, but at the end, they come directly 100% as it is on computer. Yeah, can you imagine if I ask 10 people to uh, marble the, and someone start here and someone, uh, and uh, at the end, you, there is a gap you cannot, uh, it's end, yani, uh, but with the bees, at the end, it will come directly like this. Really, وَأَوْحَى رَبُّكَ إِلَى النَّحَلِ It's an amazing ayah. It's invitation, everyone to believe in the God. It is, it is invitation, everyone to feel God. How much I talk about this, it will be less. But really, Allah revealed, Allah inspired, Allah taught bees to do all of this. And when Allah Azza wa Jal told us that, He revealed, He taught, He told them, now uh, there is no surprising. But if there is no these two words that Allah, really there are a lot of surprising how the bees know how the bees did how the bees uh, who who give the bees the knowledge of engineering from which faculty they graduate i didn't see any uh, bees in the colleges or in harfa no, no the, uh, all of them just come, and as he said after weeks they start the work and the human after weeks he, he couldn't uh, count from one to to three all of these really give us a sign and how we should use our mind and how Allah Azza wa Jal help us to believe in him. One of the great scientists, he said that every time I feel weakness in my Iman, I go to the lab. I go to the lab because in the lab, there is an amazing everything. But do you know what? There is a problem that today, dunya took us from our thinking, from our, we should sit in the garden, in a place and look and think about the creation of Allah. We should try to, to watch such, such a kind of these movies about how, and, and you know, 20 years ago, uh, 30 years ago, when they start to have the videotape, I try in different way just to take something scientific about the creation of Allah, about, and there is, Nothing. Alhamdulillah, today there are a lot of this, not too much, but there is it's not difficult to, to get uh, such a kind. So we have to think about the creation, and in this way we understand the meaning of وَأَوْحَى رَبُّكَ إِلَى النَّحَلِ I think nowadays the people should understand this ayat more than the people 1,000 years ago. 
because they don't have this facility. They, they cannot watch movies about this. They cannot uh, know everything the bee is doing from engineering, from chemistry, from production, from in, uh, how they do everything of these. But nowadays, Alhamdulillah, Allah make it help us to believe. And also we have some new things, new invention, internet, what also help us to understand all of these. May Allah give you khair and afia. May Allah accept from all of you. Walhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Al-Fatiha. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim. Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Wa afdalu salati wa atamu al-taslimi ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Allahumma a'inna ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadatik wa la taj'alna ya ilahana ya mawlana min al-ghafilin. اللهم أرنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وأرنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه واغفر اللهم لنا ولوالدينا ولمشايخنا ولأرباب الحقوق علينا وللمسلمين أجمعين والحمد لله رب العالمين الفاتحة